Right now, uh, many Americans have to be vaccinated against the COVID virus or they were not allowed to teach or they're not allowed to work in a hospital. Yet the two million people that are coming across the border, there's no requirement that they be tested or there's no requirement that they be vaccinated. So the United States of all countries in the world at its very founding had the idea that you could become an American if you crossed the borders and you accepted the American idea. So when people came from diverse countries, they had skills, they spoke English, and they came legally. And there was not whole blocks of ethnic caste that had grievances or they had uh, difficulties in assimilation with the majority population. And more importantly, legal immigration was welcome because it kind of reminded Americans that there were people who were very competitive and they wanted this system of free market economics, constitutional government, a bill of rights that was lacking in their home country. What happens when the host itself, i.e. the United States, has lost confidence in its traditions and customs and doesn't feel that it should or has a right or it wouldn't be nice to impose their values on people who are arriving across a border. Then immigration turns from something very desirable and positive to something that can be very pernicious and dangerous. The corporate establishment has been a big advocate of open borders. And it's been very hard to write op-eds for the Wall Street Journal or talk to the Chamber of Commerce because they feel that immigration, even if it's illegal, is very good for their own uh, bottom line. And the Democratic Party said, if you come illegally, we will ensure that you will not be subject to the enforcement of immigration laws. We will provide you with entitlements, but we expect in exchange fealty and loyalty and fidelity at the polls. And it explains right why now we do not enforce immigration law. Because too many parties have too many vested interests and we look at the border and it is a construct. It doesn't exist in reality. People are simply walking across and you have people coming in vast numbers from one direction. They do not speak English. They're not legal. And we the host are not the host that we have been from the prior 280 years, but we feel diffident, lack of confidence about our own system. We don't feel we want to impose on our new visitors. We feel it would be cultural appropriation to tell them that this system is better than the one they're leaving. You add all of that up and you have chaos and the erosion of the idea of citizenship.